It's been a long and difficult journey for these young elephants. But Marcy, Jack, Johnny, Tessa, Mana and Amira are finally where they belong. In a protected reserve near the scenic Victoria Falls in Zimbabwe. So uh, Zimbabwe presents a very um, interesting opportunity for, for landscape conservation. Um, for two reasons. Um, the first one, it, it is warm to the second largest elephant population uh, in the world. Um, and also the government um, does have, um, you know, regards to wildlife conservation as an anger for tourism development and socioeconomic uh, um, development, which is good for, for the communities. The six orphaned elephants were transferred 900 kilometers to their new home in a 19-hour operation. They were sedated and then a crane used to lift them into trucks for transportation. The young cars were rescued after being found abandoned and wounded during a severe drought in the region and have been hand reared for three years. Something that really sits well in alliance to our holistic approach to wildlife rescue, rehabilitation, uh, and eventual release uh, of, of, of elephants back into the wild um, is, is the partnership that we also have with um, Zimbabwe Elephant Nursery and Wild is Life uh, for, for the panda uh, masua release work that we are doing. The International Union for Conservation of Nature says Africa's savannah elephants population has decreased by at least 60% over the last 50 years, making them endangered while forest elephants found mostly in Central Africa has fallen by 86% over 31 years. That makes them critically endangered, the highest category before extinction in the wild. The rescued calves are getting used to their new home and have been introduced to nine older elephants who will help guide them through life until they create their own herd or join a wild group. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.